Will you do me a favor? Can I ask you? Because a wonderful thing happened. I want him to relate this to you. Andre was asked uh, to sing the national anthem at the Democratic convention, and you take it from there, my good friend. I had a feeling you were going to ask me that question. You can't miss this, folks. Will you hear this? Well, you all can't believe what happened. I, uh, I'm a gospel singer, as you know, and. Um, you know, sometimes we're a little loose the way we sing. So I was invited to sing for the Democratic Convention. So I took a few voice lessons. Land of the free! And, you know, I got really ready for it. <laughs> and I got a new suit and everything. And So uh, I got there. My dad wanted to go because I played at the White House before. And my dad never, never got a chance to meet the president. And so my dad went with me. He took his little Sony tape recorder. You know, we were going to see the president. I was going to be singing the last night, the Star Springer Banner, you know. So uh, I went to rehearsal that uh, uh, the day of the last night. But prior to that, I'd gone to the Democratic Convention and I went up into the VIP room and I met a lot of uh, celebrities and politics, governors and everything, and they said, this is Andre Crouch, she's going to be singing the National Anthem tomorrow night. They said, great, we're, we're really looking forward to hearing you. And so I said, fantastic. I met about eight or nine people, you know, of, you know, a few governors and all that. So then they, they said, uh, uh, hey, sing it, let them have it, boy. And so I said, yeah, that's what I want to do. They said, boy, to you? Yeah, they did. <laughs> that was one mistake. <laughs> So check out what happened. I rehearsed that day, and they gave me all these tags. They gave me a uh, tag for this platform, a tag for that platform, and then the main platform, they said, now all the biggies are going to be here tonight, so you really have to have that tight security. So they said, whatever you do, Andre, don't get rid of this tag. So I said, great. So anyway, after I rehearsed with the band and everything, I uh, was on my way out, and so these little guys, you know, that were supposed to be uh, in charge of security secret at this, service. yeah, Secret Service guys. But I think they were from New York. You know, I wasn't gonna mess with them because they were pretty rough looking. So I said, I'm not not supposed to get rid of this tag right here because it's the only one that gets me on the main stage. To make a long story short, I had to end up giving my tag to the guy. He said, Look, when you come back, just give me, just come right to this desk and you'll get back in. So I'm all dressed clean. I mean, I was together, you know. <laughs> My father had his little tape recorder. Had your I mean, sincere suit I mean, on I was everything. Really, really together on network television, national television. And I was going to use all my little voice training and everything, you know. And I got there and I argued with the guy for about 45 minutes. He you said, you Your name's not on here. You can't get in here. Same guy? No, another guy. Oh, oh I was going to say it's the same guy. Right? And all of a sudden, um, here I was. Arguing all of a sudden, I hear dun, 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 dun. And I told my road manager, I said, Tell me that's the Star Spangled Banner. I mean, tell me that's Bridge Over Troubled Waters. That is not the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> anyway, I didn't sing, and I went back up to the VIP. You did not I did sing not sing. The Star I missed it. Did nobody sing? No, no one played it. just played da, 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 da. They played right. the B flat, usually. So I went up to the VIP room, and so I met some of these same people, and they were there, and they said, Andre, Fantastic. What a voice. Boy, can you say. <laughs> That's politics, folks. No, no. We'll you be were right there. back with the second part of our.